in the past. It's in the past. Now, um, uh, there are some things that you have done. Brother McGinnis, you said it in your prayer, that you have thought, that you have imagined, that you have wished you would have never done, that if you could, you can leave it in the past. But the problem is, it's haunting you. It's, it's like a, 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 a Jason or Friday, you know, you all, you all know, it, 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 it comes up. Although you want to forget about uh, your ex uh, uh, and your ex and ex, uh, although you want to forget about all of that, uh, it, it, it seems to uh, comes up come up even at the most inappropriate time. Uh, am I talking to anybody? Uh, Y'all follow me, right? There are some people that we just wish that we could just forget. Uh, but the problem is they have, they have become a part of you. They, have been, they are ingrained in you. And now uh, uh, you, uh, you carry them around like a dead weight. Uh, uh, it's, it's some things, uh, brother, brother Justin. I wish uh, uh, that I can just get rid of. There's some 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 people that I have encountered in my lifetime that if I can erase and and turn back the hands of time, mm. uh, uh, I'll just I promise you, uh, I would I would have never uh, introduced myself to them. Uh, uh, I mean, in the first place, uh, I mean, some things, uh, Brother Jerry, and there's some thoughts. There's some thoughts that I think, uh, and I know I'm not by myself. I know, I know, because I know where your thoughts come from. Your thoughts going to come from uh, either God, which are good and godly thoughts, or they're going to come from Satan, which are hellish and, and, and sinful thoughts. And, and I don't know about you, but there's some thought that I think on my bed. Uh, I wish I could preach in here. Uh, and and, 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 and uh, I'm going to tell you the story now. I, I preach and I get myself in trouble all the time. We know. Uh, uh, because, and today is not going to be no different. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and isn't it a blessed event that the peak person that you lay right next to don't know what you think? Wow. Uh, uh, yeah, because... because some of the thoughts that you think uh, could cause you to lose your life. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I ain't talking about nothing. I ain't saying nothing, man. I ain't talking about my wife. Now. But, 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 but we have, we have, we have gotten ourselves involved in some things that that we wish that we could get rid of. That's why it's very important that you know who you talk to, that you hook up with, that you share conversation with. That, that you engage in, uh, in, 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 in uh, uh, what I want to say, uh, life's uh, circumstances with, because there are some things that once you get involved in, you will never be able to get rid of it because it will always become a part of you. Mm -hmm. And no matter how many sermons you hear, I don't care how many great titles you hear, I don't care how many verses you hear, that stuff going to stay with you for the rest of your life. But now there is a way that you can get rid of it. Uh, uh, if according to the Bible, abide, the Bible says, well, first of all, now you know you're going to be at tension. There is going to be tension to, to, to get rid of these things because once you try to get rid of it, it's going to always try to pop itself up again. Or something as simple as, as, as trying, I, I was struggling with brother, brother, brother Jerry. I was struggling with trying. I said, you know what I'm going to try to do? I'm going to do my best to try not to eat no sweets no more because I got diabetes. Y'all know I'm diabetical. Uh, and, and I said that I'm not I'm not going to eat no sweets. And, and, and I'm not being comical about the conversion. But look like King just start looking at me. Every time you want to do something good, I don't care what it is, something good or godly, every time something evil is going to raise up his head. Amen. Every time. There's gonna be tension. There's gonna be. There's gonna be. You're gonna be at odds with yourself. And I'm not talking about being at odds with somebody else. Being at odds with yourself. And there's some people right now just fighting themselves right now. Mm. All right. 
And you know who uh, our worst enemy is. You know it's not the woman that you gave me. Or you know it's not the man. You know who our worst enemy is? Ourselves. But we're at tension with it. Ourselves. Paul said that 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 Paul was at tension with himself. Mm -hmm. Paul said that, oh wretched man, oh, that Jesus. I am going to deliver me Jesus. from this bondage of sin. How do I get rid of my history? How do I get rid of the baggage that I carry when I persecuted the church? Mm. So Paul wasn't only talking to the Philippian church. Paul was talking and trying to encourage himself. He said, finally, brother, let me tell you something, Philippian church. I know you've been good to me. Because it was a good church. It sent Paul gifts while he was in prison by, by the hand of Eph uh, uh, Epaphroditus. Because, because they understood, uh, uh, Reverend, that, that, that God had placed in them a, a, a man of God uh, by the name of Paul. But he wasn't always Paul. He had a past. Just like us. I know you got a past. I know you weren't always a saintly sister or, or, or a devil nap deacon. I know you weren't always no preacher. You got a past. And that past haunts you. At night when you when you're laying there or when you're driving in your car, you think about it, you break down in tears. Not because God has been so good, but the reason that you break down in tears because you wish you could get rid of some of the things that you've done. Pastor, you preaching now. Right, oh my. You think about it. I know, I don't know about you, uh, but uh, you said 18, I was I was in church serving, but guess what? I wasn't always in church serving. Now, we didn't always pass the Bible. There was some other stuff we passed. My God. All right. Folks still struggling with some, some addicts, some addictions that, that they can't get rid of. It's like, it's like it haunts you, brother, brother Jerry. It haunts you. So Paul says, let me tell you what I told you already. Mm -mm -mm. He said, finally, brother, that's what the Bible said. I was reading this book about preaching and preaching. You know, the, the, struck, the hardest part about preaching, Deron, is not that I know what I'm talking about, that I might uh, get you to understand what I'm talking about. I'm not preaching for, for just for my own self. I'm preaching that you may understand Christ and the power of Christ. Paul was trying to get him to understand how, how this relationship changed his life. <laughs> If you're in a relationship with Jesus Christ, there should be a definite change. All things passed away, and all things have become new. But just because you're a new creature, don't mean that you have old. Don't mean that the old habits don't stop changing you. Right. Mm -mm -mm. Paul says that uh, finally, my brothers, the Bible says here. He said, "What you what you need to do is is is, is uh, to understand that I have to write to you." I have to encourage you. And people are always saying, why are you always talking, preaching? Well, how else can I communicate what I'm trying to get across to you? Mm. If you can't understand the words, you should want to understand sign language. My Lord. All right. Mm. But he says it's not grievous to me. Mm -hmm. It don't bother me that I say it three or four times. If you get it the first time, I won't have to say it. Come on times. now. I said this morning to the, to the people of God who comes in the room for, for prayer. I said, please, why do I have to ask you every Sunday morning to come back there and pray? Don't you know we pray? But every Sunday morning I got to say it. And it grieves me. No one we got to pray to get us the right for the Spirit of God. We're fighting the fight of our lives. Paul wasn't Paul had this zeal. And the zeal that he had prior to his, his, his conversion was to be the best Jewish uh, 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 Pharisee that he could be. And it came in conflict with Christ. And he persecuted the church. And he killed the church. And then he got saved. Mm -mm. Isn't, that, isn't that one of the problems that, that we have? The fact that either we got saved and we got a past or we never was saved. Mm -mm. Saved folk act a certain way. Mm -mm. 
believers are, de are delivered. But look what Paul says. Paul says that I got to write to you. Now, first of all, then when I'm writing to you, I want you to beware of dogs. I know that's harsh language. But but you know what dogs do? If they're not sniffing at you, they're growling and biting and trying to, they do the anchor biters. They're just, they just chasing, always nagging at you. Isn't that how some folk are? If you've done something in the past, they're always nipping at you, telling you about what you've done, and they've done the same thing too. You know the worst thing about a dog? A dog is one that you have to feed, but he'll turn around and bite you. Good Lord have mercy. Dog, he says. Harsh language. But he wasn't talking about believers. He was talking about those who would come against the church. Those who were who was trying to fight. Why would you fight against something that is 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 uh, uh I, I, it's come to deliver you from your bondage? The folk just fight and bite. That's what they do. Just bite. <laughs> it's amazing. The same folk that been in church with you for 12 years, biting at you, just crawling at you. Everything you do, just crawling. But, uh, you say, beware of them. They're evil workers. That's what they are. Workers of iniquity. Fighting against the church. Paul says, I know I got to pass. Uh, uh, now, guess what? You know why it don't bother me when you bring up my past? Because you got one too. Come on now. I know you ain't always had a husband. Maybe you like that woman in John. Maybe you had five of them. Jesus. <laughs> and the one you got ain't yours anyway. My Lord. I know, I know you ain't always been... You know, sitting up there with your sanctified self. I know that. I know how you're thinking. Mm. It's a good thing that God don't put our stuff on video. Jesus. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Amen. Am I am I saying anything? Oh, you saying something? All right. Yeah, put them on YouTube. Put you out there. Right. Always talking about the preacher. The same people that got to preach your funeral you talking about. Mm. <laughs> and then when we say something crazy at the funeral, they say, oh, he's just a mean preacher. <laughs> no, I'm not seeing now. You just a dog. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> Amen. Y'all praying with me? <laughs> it's 1235. I didn't even get into a whole lot. But now listen, if you're going to forget about the past, <laughs> then you have to have uh, 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 object, a goal for the future. Mm -hmm. The problem, the reason why you can't, you can't let go of the past, is because you're not moving towards something. Come on, Pastor. Y'all, 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 y'all hear me? If you move towards something, my brother said this yesterday. And I told him I'm gonna give him credit. He said the reason why the rearview mirror is only about three to inches, and your and your uh, uh, windshield is big because. You're supposed to be focused on where you're going and not looking in the rear view mirror. All right. You ever try to run like this? <laughs> Who can run like that? Bumping into yourself. Everybody passing you up. That's why you become stagnant. Because you're running like this. <laughs> but Paul said, forget about that. Yes, sir. You forget about it and don't let them remind you of it. Telling you about how I know you. I remember when you used to be sleeping with Tom, Dick, and Harry when you were with Frank, John, and Peter. <laughs> and I'm trying to move forward to a goal. I met Christ. And if Christ don't bring it up, then don't you bring it up. All right. Paul says, Paul said, listen, let me tell you what you got to forget about. Now, first, two things, and I'm going to let you go on, and we'll talk about it next week. First of all, you got to forget about your accomplishments. Mm -hmm. Paul said, I was a, 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 a Hebrew of Hebrews. 
I was in the top of my class. You know what some people do? Once they accomplish something, they begin to rest. Mm. Rest on their accomplishments. You got to forget about that. Do you know the meal you cooked the day yesterday ain't no good today? Yeah, I mean, unless you like leftovers. <laughs> but you can't keep eating leftovers. Eventually, you're going to cook another one. Yeah. You know the goal that you met yesterday? You got other goals to meet? You got to forget about your accomplishment. Resting in what you've done. There's so many folk talking about, I've done this and I've done that. Well, what have you done lately? Woo. You, you, you basking in your glory. <laughs> because you've done, you think you've done something because you, 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 you know, you, you done got you a degree. Well, get another one. All right. <laughs> 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 because when you rest, I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm laughing, but I'm very serious. When you rest, you know you don't grow, and you know you can't stay at the same place. But you know you actually, if you become stagnant, you actually die. Mm -hmm. Do you know just because you cut the grass yesterday, you got to cut the grass again? Mm -hmm. And some folk, you know, they, they that's that's. That's what they do. They live in the past. They're past the continents. I've done this and I've done that. I know you gave the Lord your $300, but guess what? Give him another $300. Mm. When I've given the best of my service, there's still more to give, more to do. What you're resting in? Your glory? Your accomplishments? Accomplishments? And matter of fact, some of them be bragging, they weren't at the top of the class. Right. <laughs> no, they weren't even at the, you know, down, well, way down, they call their name last. And they bragging. And their last name they didn't get with Z, and they still call them last. But then, another thing you got to forget about, not, about, not only about your glory, but your gloom. Paul says, you know what, though? I forget about all that stuff. I don't worry. I understand you're going to bring up the fact that I persecuted the church. How many of us, uh, and I'm, this is a question, it seems like I want to, I want to talk about case all long. How many of us ever said something bad about the church in our mind? Thank you, Brother Jerry. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for being honest. A lot of us, because you know what, though? Some folk in the church are crazy. Yeah, yeah, they're crazy. Seriously. But I wouldn't want to be no other place. Because they might be crazy, but God is righteous. Mm -hmm. Gotta be mature enough to know that the craziness of, of the people that say they love God has nothing to do with a great Christ. Come on now. Paul didn't say that I'm pursuing uh, 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 Peter, or I'm not pursuing Matthew or Mark or Luke, but I'm pursuing Christ. My wife and I was talking about uh, God sent me a crazy video. You know people send these old crazy videos. I can't say, I ain't gonna say everything. <laughs> I ain't, I'm talking about, I know where I'm going. I know you gotta be full of the Holy Ghost, but you gotta know what you're saying. One of these old crazy videos, right? And, 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 and some things that's just out of control. And there are some things that in the church and churches that people and preachers do that, that God himself are ashamed of. But what does that have to do with the excellency of Christ? My God. Christ has never failed you. Christ has never let you, let you down. Christ has never disappointed you. Mm -hmm. I know preachers are disappointed. Every Sunday a preacher will say something crazy. But Christ has never. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I didn't die for you. I got sins. I got to be forgiven of myself. It was Christ. Paul said that I forget the fact that I forget about the fact that I persecuted the church. Forget about that. Now move toward the excellence. Press toward the goal. You got to have a pride, a mark, a goal. The problem was the reason why you can't move forward, not only because you got pressing, forgetting the past, but you got to press toward the mark. What's your goal? My goal is to see Christ. 
And I ain't going to let nothing and nobody. I don't care what they do. When I was saying earlier, this lady, she messing around with a horse. Bestiality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was she doing the crazy stuff. But I don't care what they do. But Justin, I don't care what they do in church. I'm going to act like I don't even see it because guess what? My focus is on Christ and the, the power of his resurrection. So when I've taken my last breath and God himself decides, Robert, you had enough down there. Mm -mm -mm. It's time to move forward. It's time to leave the world behind when the world can't afford me no more. Jesus. When there's no more preaching, no more exhortation, no more disciplining, no more all of that. Then God will say, now nah, you have had your final time down here. I want him to say, well done. So I'm pressing. And it's hard sometimes. I'm finally getting tired. Yeah, I am. They're finally wearing down on me. Those miles are catching up with me now. Yeah, they are. But guess what? I'm going to keep on pressing until I see his face. Brother Jerry, if I can't get here at 945 like I used to, I'll get here at 10. But I'm going to keep pressing. If y'all see me getting here a little later, it's not because I've given up. It's because I've gotten a little tired, but I'm still pressing. Because I got this prize. And get the prize is. Some people think the prize is eternal life. That's not the prize. That's the gift. Mm -hmm. The prize is Christ. Mm -hmm. That's the prize. To see him for myself. After I preached all these sermons about him. A man that I've never seen. But I heard that he died. And gave sack to the blind. I want to see him for myself. Mm -hmm. That's the prize brother Jerry. To shake his hand. Those hands that was nailed. To, to see his side that was pierced. That's the prize. Oh, I want to see him. And look him on his face. And I may be in glory. And I may be in glory. Mm. That's the prize. That's why I tell you, week after week, find and follow Christ. And don't let nothing, not your past, not all your accomplishments, not people, don't let nothing block your view of Christ. Mm -mm. Nothing. It's too easy now. Folk let everything get in the way. It's too easy now. What happened to the, the believer that, 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 they could withstand persecution. You can't say nothing now. I'm going to quit church. Well, quit. <laughs> Good night. Bye-bye. See you. See you later, alligator. Quit. Then let me know how that worked out for you. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Why would the devil get through you? With you? Mm. Oh, yeah. You, you try to make your way back to Jesus. And he'll take you. Mm. Because they're loving Savior. But my, my suggestion is forget about the past. Forget about all that stuff. Let, let all that go. Let the hatred go. The unforgiveness. Let all that stuff go. Worrying about what people have done you 35 years ago. They done moved on. Some of them died. You still got that stuff in your heart. Please stand. Mm -mm -mm.